Well, I'm back at it, working on the fuel tanks, and uh, so I'm going to go down below and finish pumping the diesel fuel from the starboard side to the port side. 200 gallons on each side. I'm going to run it all over to the port side. Cross my fingers. Those tanks don't leak. And then after I get all the diesel out of the starboard side, I will uh, close it all off and get in there with, with, the, uh, with a little hose and pump out the remaining diesel that's on the bottom. And then what I'm, my plan is to pour some uh, bilge cleaner and water on the starboard tanks to balance the boat off and let that slosh around in there until I'm ready for the next step, which would be cutting out the tanks. Of course, if the tanks leak now, it's only going to be it's going to be bilge cleaner and water, maybe a little diesel that will get broken up with the bilge cleaner. That's the plan. If anybody's got any better ideas, I would love to know. So let's get to it. All right, so there's the starboard tank, and you can see I got a line coming off, which is actually the uh, sight, the sight tube that was used to see how much fuel is in the tank. Got that going to a filter to the reverso pump. Where up oh, there it is, the reverso pump coming back here and going onto the fitting up top, which is supposed to be where the return diesel from the motor goes into the tank. So that's that. Now something I want to mention, which has been very, very handy, is having one of these uh, little power supplies. Uh, so if you don't have 12 volts someplace or even regular AC power and you need to get it there quickly, it's perfect. And I have it rigged up with, with a couple of uh, spade, uh, spade connectors there so I can change around the configuration as needed. So that's where we are now. It'll probably take another, who knows, an hour or so to pump out all this fuel. And then what we're going to do is go in there and uh, deal with the fittings, take those off, close them off. And uh, the last step, I'll take this little fitting off here, get out the remaining diesel with a tube, put the tube in there, suck out the remaining diesel. All right, let's see if I can get that fitting off and get a plug in it. I already have it loose. The question is, can I really get in there? difficult get leverage in such a odd place all right well on my shoulder here the fill went past my sight so I'm getting pretty close to uh, filling this tank up uh, I can't really see but what I'm gonna do is put my ear to the tank and make sure and check to see if we still have fuel coming in here, dripping down here. I should be able to hear it, so let's see. Yep, I hear it. Well, got air bubbles, so this tank, I would say it's empty, and my moving of the diesel to the port side is complete. Look at that, we got bubbles. Not a lot of debris coming up into the filter, so that's good. The, Tanks were nice and clean inside, no debris. They should be, they were relatively brand new. My next step, I'm gonna loosen this here. This is another fitting at the bottom of the tank and start taking out whatever remaining fuel is there. Hopefully I'll just be able to pump it out. Let's see if we can jam that in there. And I'll put the hose here from the pump. I'm going to loosen that. 
and we'll see what happens here. Not sure if you could see it, but we definitely have a list here on the boat. You can see she's probably, I don't know, four inches on the port side. So I think I'm gonna take a barrel, put some water in it, and kind of balance her off a little bit for now. All right, she's just about full to the top. Things look much better. Now I can sleep at night. Let's get this hose out of here. Go on the boat and see. Let's get on the boat and see how level or unlevel we are here. Got the fan on inside, although the blower takes some of the smell away. Now, oh, look at that. Pretty damn, not perfect, but I saw her at least go into the middle. Okay, that's better, it feels better in the boat. Let me go look over at those uh, through holes. Oh, there I am. And if you look down, it looks to me like the through holes are out of the water. Makes me feel much better. All right, finally, I think we're done for the day. I'm going to turn those blowers off and call it a day.